After the thoughtful orientation of your built environment, your home, on the site that you've selected, your attention should be directed to what we call the building envelope. For now, think of your living space as a box with a bottom, the floor, the sides, your exterior walls, and the top, your uppermost ceiling. In this basic series, we want to focus on the basement slab, the foundation walls, and that exterior part of the floor system, sometimes referred to as the bandboard area. Sometimes people ask why it's so important to insulate the foundation area of a home. If you live in a climate that is cold at least part of the year, I contend that not insulating the foundation is akin to going out in the cold dressed in a heavy parka without your pants on. Going back to our building envelope analogy, the under slab of your basement floor and the foundation walls should be insulated from the continual approximate 55 degrees from the earth at five feet below and the much colder temperature above that level. Conservative estimates indicate approximately 30% of the heat energy in a home can escape through an uninsulated foundation. That is why the building codes are demanding that builders must meet these insulation requirements. You can use a product such as Thermal Ease that becomes an integral part of the poured foundation. You can also insulate under the basement slab to complete that envelope process. And finally, before the placement of the exterior walls on the subfloor, it's essential that the openings between the floor joists be sealed, foamed, and insulated. These ideas will be explained in more detail in our future in-depth interviews. This is Rich Kaufman. Always keep these high performance principles in mind when you build. You can contact us at oasishomesusa.com.